let's show you how I made this dowel cutter. It has a couple features on it. First of all, the hole, the exit hole, is slightly larger than the diameter that I want. In this case, I want three quarters of an inch, so I can make three quarter inch dowels or hickory golf shafts and then taper it down with my trapping plane. I have videos on trapping planes on prior posts. If you make it, if you drill the hole the same diameter, it's going to wind up being smaller. So go. I went up a sixteenth of an inch. This is a so thirteen sixteenths of. That's what this bit is. So that's what I use, and then I use I'll, I'll use a step type of uh, auger to clean this out and taper it. So that taper. You can see here, you can see the blade is following that taper. So the taper is in the first half, and then the second half, after the blade, or just just at the end of the blade, is the, uh, is the diameter of this bit. I have this slitter here, and that's to sever the fibers uh, as they're coming in, uh, so you don't get a lot of splintering. And I did have another piece. This was actually from my old workbench um, that I, I bought. And they had it bolted together, but I didn't realize it fell off. And I found out I don't really need that long of an exit piece yet. But I am thinking of perhaps adding, gluing this back on and putting a second blade to really burnish this to get this uh, dowel much cleaner. I, I don't need it cleaner necessarily. For, for my specific use, but uh, what the heck, I might I might play around with that and see if I can get a, a nice nicer finish on this. So you'll see how I did this step by step.
right, let's see here. Working. So what's happening here? I'm getting a little chip out. I was hoping this thing would help to cut, which it might be doing. That is not too bad. Still got a flat spot here. Flat spot here. I think the wood needs to be a little thicker when I put when I mill it. I think that's all I need to do. Yeah, because this was probably the original piece, which was three quarters of an inch. It's got to be a little bigger than three quarters of an inch. So it's working pretty well. I'm thinking of adding another blade here afterwards to smooth it out. Make it even smoother than what it is. Although for my purpose, it doesn't really need to be there. It's 
not bad. Not bad, not perfect. I, I could add another blade on there to try to clean it up, but I'm actually, this is all I need for my purposes. If I ever need a finer dowel, I will um, add that second blade to, to a finer cut.